Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deech here, and I'm coming to you from New Orleans, Louisiana, more specifically Magazine Street. And there's an antique place that I want to go check out. Come with me. So right down Magazine Street, right there is the Magazine Antique Mall, and that's where we're headed. The Magazine Antique Mall is a 6,500 square foot space with over 40 vendors. Walking up to the window here, they've got these creepy like doll statues hanging out here. This one in particular stands out to me the most. She's holding the little crucifix there, kind of like an exorcist type doll. And then this one in this cage, is this, and it's labeled Hoobat, and it's a upside down baby hanging from the top like a bat with some fangs poking out of his mouth. That's crazy. And this one down here has two faces, one upside down. That is crazy looking, very creepy. Wow. As soon as I walk in, I see something really cool, a Jazz Fest envelope with Fats Domino on it, marking the 30th anniversary of Jazz Fest. On this shelf is a California Raisin. I love these guys. I used to love the claymation show that they had in the commercials. Some Star Trek figurines, specifically from The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine, it looks like. Here's some more of those creepy dolls and a baby with a pumpkin head. Look at these. That is very creepy. This baby's head is caught in this Venus flytrap, reminiscent of the Audrey II from Little Shop of Horrors. Here they got some British royalty souvenirs, King's coronation plate, some plaques and buttons, and up here the wedding of Princess Diana to Prince Charles on a plate. This is cool, a pack of cards from K&B Drugstore, very famous drugstore here that ain't there no more. Some old harmonicas, I don't know if I would play any of these, and a Zulu coconut, but I can't tell what year it's from. A Mickey Mouse, some kind of a, maybe a cookie jar or something? I don't know, it's not expensive, it's only eight bucks, whatever this is head come off? No, the head doesn't come off. Some Flintstones kids glassware. I think I had a few of these. There's Barney back there and Fred up in front. And over here is a Porky Pig from the Looney Tunes. This cabinet has a Winnie the Pooh Jack in a Box and an E.T. cookie jar. And some Tiki guys back there. Even a book on Jambalaya in the back. And over here are some buttons that features the Hanna-Barbera characters. This place is very overwhelming. There's so many cool things here. I could, I could spend all day here. This, is, this place is awesome. It's probably the best antique store I've ever been in. And this section here features a plate featuring some New Orleans iconic sites. The Superdome, Streetcar, Bourbon Street. Now this, this is what I came for. World's Fair 1984 collectibles. This looks like an ashtray. Up here is a little bronze display of the Wonder Wall from the 1984 World's Fair. How much is that? That's only 18 bucks. It's the World's Fair postcard featuring the Vatican Pavilion. There's another one featuring Centennial Plaza. The gondola in the background. This one's the Festival Park, and you can see we had a monorail for a brief period of time here. Or in this area, it has some Disney stuff, books, fun favorites, fantasy on parade, great moments in fiction, and a Peter Pan storybook, and Old Yeller in book form. A lot of antique shops that I go to has these old photographs of just random people. This place is very big, and there's a lot to see. I don't even know where I should go next. This crazy mask, maybe a Mardi Gras mask of some kind. A Star Wars collector's case. 
for your action figures right next to the Osmond's lunchbox. Interesting. Now, I didn't even know they made these, but they had action figures apparently for the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves movie starring Kevin Costner. Interesting. And there's, uh, there's Robin Hood himself. Up here's a whole bunch of Flintstones collectibles. I love the Flintstones. Barney Baby Bottle. All right. A Dick Tracy action figure back here. Some Star Wars collectibles up here. The Star Trek TV guide with Captain Kirk and Spock up there. Some more Star Wars gear. Some little mini action figurines. I think I had that Luke Skywalker one on the right there. Some more stuff down here. An Empire Strikes Back paint by number book. In this case, a few Louisiana items, an elect Governor Edwards pin, along with some Coca-Cola items, some other things that I don't recognize. In this case, has a bunch of Beatles collectibles, like the uh, Paul back there. And here's the Fab Four playing their music. Got a vintage Donald Duck doll up here, and a vintage Mickey Mouse doll too. Some more lunch boxes. Berenstein Bears, Dick Tracy, Pink Panther and Sons, some Batman 66 stuff, the Batmobile, and a smaller Batmobile. Look at all this cool stuff, man. If I had the money, I'd buy it all. Some more lunch boxes, a Super Friends lunch box, and the Marvel Super Heroes lunch boxes. Now this case has some cool stuff in here. Look at this. Some Ponch Train Beach tickets. Wow. Oh, and so look, some other Ponch Train Beach stuff. Some glasses. Some kind of mug back there. Check out this creepy vampire face sitting on this table with these very gothic looking candlesticks. Check this out, a Route 66 light up panel. To hang on your wall. I wonder if it works. Walking through to the next section of this giant mall of antique stuff and on the back wall I see something I am very interested in this Dixie beer sign check that out that's nice check out these old vintage fans A Mr. Peanut. Look at Mr. Peanut. Check that out. An old Play School series food truck, it looks like. Some of the kids hanging out in there. Down here is the Book of Spam. I like Spam. I like fried Spam. This creepy little doll is supposed to be Dopey from the Seven Dwarves from Snow White. I don't know. And here's a poster for the Sphinx vs. Ali fight the Superdome, September 15th, 1978. Wow, that's cool. This is some kind of an award medal for not the 1984 World's Fair, but the 1884 World's Fair that also took place in New Orleans. That's nice. There's a collection of Jazz Fest postcards. This cabinet has some more vintage Disney dolls, another Donald Duck and Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse. Here's an old microfiche reader. I used to see these in the library all the time. Some Tabasco cups here. <laughs> Check that out. That's cool. It's like some original artwork made out of bullets. This one's cool. It's a rocket man. The bullets are the rockets on his back. They're selling an old World War II mess kit. Only 35 bucks, that's not bad. Some more Disney stuff. There's a Mickey Mouse ukulele. A Minnie Mouse. Does anybody still drink Tab? I know they still make it. I see it every once in a while. I had a friend that had these glasses in his house. I remember these. Alright, on to the next room. Let's see what we got in here.
the Three Amigos hat. This is a vintage retro label classic poker set. Um, but the box says vintage on it, or classic. Is it really vintage? Check out this old horse-drawn milk cart. Hmm. Good advice. And a jar full of doubloons from Mardi Gras. Collection of shot glasses up here, but this one stood out to me because it's the Lost Sea from Sweetwater, Tennessee. I've been there before. A set of old bingo cards made out of wood with these little plastic windows here. Wow. This glass is from Falstaff, a brand of beer that used to be made here. It's a whole bunch of belt buckles and stuff, including a few Star Wars belt buckles. Interesting. Looks like I'm in the right spot. Some interesting things in this cabinet. An unopened bottle of Listerine, a Zulu ambassador from Mardi Gras, and a package of home permanent curlers. Check out this creepy Hillary Clinton doll hanging out on this shelf up here what the story is behind this. Got an old rotary phone here. I'm not sure these would still work. And this Campbell Soup thermos. There's another World's Fair 1984 relic back there. A Coca-Cola glass with the 84 World's Fair logo on it. A few more World's Fair items. This little jewelry box here. That's cool. Another one of those Wonderwall trays back there. It's an 84 World's Fair coffee cup featuring Seymour D. Fair, the cartoon mascot. This old bottle here has the Jack's Beer logo on top with a little bottle opener shooting off the side there. The collection of some old bottles, some old Coke and 7-Up and Pepsi Cola, Barks Root Beer, Royal Crown Cola. Here's some more K&B stuff, a Magnet, Book of Matches. On this shelf is some old Saints glassware. I had those. I had those exact glasses. It's funny that the portable tape recorder is vintage now. Up here you got some helmets. Looks like a Nazi helmet. I wonder if that's an actual Nazi helmet. On the front desk here they have these vintage glass beads that used to be thrown at Mardi Gras parades a long time ago. Before they became plastic they were made of glass and here they are. Well, I'll tell you what, that place was incredible. I was so overwhelmed because there was so much to see and look at and go through. And I'm sure I missed a whole bunch of stuff. Definitely got to go back and look through some more. And from what I've been told, there's new stuff coming in all the time. I highly recommend checking that place out. You won't be disappointed. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this Houdad. Go pass a good time. Mm -hmm.